everyone, it's Karen with Hey Mamas, and today I'm going to be showing you what we did this week in homeschooling, and it was all centered around fall. So I try to keep a weekly theme when I am homeschooling my daughter. She is four years old. Last week it was weather. You can check out that vlog. Um, I'll put a description or put a link in the description below to that one. And this week we decided to focus on all things fall. Monday was so fun and we got off to such a great start to our week. And remember all of these worksheets that you're going to see throughout this vlog, I have in my store. And there is a link in the description below where you can go and you can download all of these fall worksheets. You can also download my weather worksheets too. And I even have some other worksheets that I didn't include in the vlog too, but they're really fun and Layla loves them. I think your kids will love them too. You are super excited about fall, right? I am too. Fall's my favorite season. So I created a whole pack of fall worksheets that you can find in my Teespring store in the description below. And we are going to start off with two today. And then we're going to do a super fun leaf craft and a leaf experiment to see why leaves change colors. But first we are doing an alphabet maze. And I love maze because it practices like tracing too. It uses their cognitive abilities and it's just fun too to do a maze. Okay, so here's the next one. It says count the number of objects in each square and then circle the correct number. So can you count how many pumpkins there are? One, two, three, four, five. Five, now find the number five. Now that we are done with our worksheets and we practice maze, we've counted number recognition and counting, we are going to do a fun little leaf art project. And what I love about this is it involves paint, but it's mess free. Now don't get me wrong, I love painting, I think it's fun, but sometimes I'm not in the mood to get all the paint out, get it all paint proofed in everything, and this one is just perfect. She won't gonna make a mess. So for this project, you need a black piece of paper, any piece of paper works, and I just used um, a leaf cut out and cut out a leaf in the middle. And then you're gonna need some fall colors. So I have orange, and, yellow, and, red. And we're going to put a bag right here. You're right, that's exactly what we're doing. You need a Ziploc bag that's big enough to cover the leaf. And you're gonna need some masking tape eventually. Uh -huh. So after you've cut out the leaf in your colored construction paper, again, it can just be white paper too. It doesn't matter. I just chose black because I thought it would show up against the colors really well. You're gonna take your Ziploc bag and you're just gonna do little squirts of each color of paint inside the Ziploc and bag. Now make sure to seal and this up really this well. Very Get any music. air out. Now we're gonna take our Ziploc bag and put it over our leaf. We're gonna tape it so it doesn't come off. So we flipped it over and I'm just gonna tape it to the table so it doesn't move around. And now Layla, you can start painting. Squish it around. And make you have like the veins of the leaves. That cool with your fingernails? No, so I was making oh. my name. Oh, you're writing your name? I'm sorry. Okay, here, but look, it's like an eraser. You can erase it and now write your name again. It's a little bit later in the day and we're getting ready to do now our fall activity for the day. So a lot of people do this activity. It's called like the rainbow Skittles. You put Skittles around in a circle in a, on a plate. You pour some hot water in and you see the colors just kind of melt and make this beautiful rainbow. But I thought, let's try to make it fall themed and try to make it look like a pumpkin. So we have put all the M&Ms in a circle and I put some green on the top as kind of like the stem or the leaf of a pumpkin. I just thought it'd be more colorful than using brown. And we're gonna pour some hot water on and see what happens. Now, most people use Skittles, but you can also use M&Ms. And we're a chocolate family, so we always have an m and m so we're doing that. <music> Okay, Layla, so I have some very, very hot water here. What do you think is gonna happen if we pour the hot water in the middle of that circle? They'll turn white. You think they're gonna turn white? And, and they'll turn in a circle, they'll melt. Oh, so uh, the color will melt off and then they'll turn white. This is looking so cool. It's like a pumpkin. All right, Layla, you were right. Did the colors melt off? But look, they didn't turn white, did they? 
So maybe they don't turn white because there's chocolate in them, but you are right. And doesn't it kind of look like a pumpkin, like you're looking down on a pumpkin? Well, that was a really fun fall experiment. We can probably hear Angie back there. Apparently she did not think it was too fun, but that's okay. Do like I did, have your kids make educated guesses what they think is gonna happen, have them have an hypothesis, um, teach them what that word means, and just really expand on it, and it can be a really fun activity. It is Tuesday, and for today's lesson, we have already done our book, and we Layla already did her worksheet that I created. This one was based on letter sounds and matching the letter to what it begins with, what letter, what word. And now we are making some fun pumpkin sun catchers. So I have just taken some coffee okay, filters mom. and cut them out in the shape of a pumpkin and then gave Layla some fall colors and had her decorate it. Let's see how yours turned out. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it, baby girl. But now this is the fun part that you're really going to like. You, mm -hmm. I get to give you a spray bottle and you're going to wet it because that's going to make all the colors like bleed together. So this is our craft for today. I always have coffee filters and we always have markers. Mm -hmm. So this was an easy one, but this is the best part. She loves a spray bottle. So we're going to go set this outside and it's probably going to dry really fast. While that dries, we're going to move on to our activity which I know Layla's gonna love. It is a pumpkin volcano. So, you know, good old fashioned vinegar baking soda, but we're gonna make the explosion happen inside a pumpkin. So we gotta cut it open first. So I just hollowed out the pumpkin, got all the seeds and the gunk out. And now the next thing you do is you're going to add some warm water and you can put food coloring in if you want it too. And you're only gonna fill it up about three fourths full. Then you're gonna put in just a few drops of dish soap and then some baking soda, a couple of tablespoons. You know, the more you put in, the bigger the explosion. So I usually just eyeball it to be honest. And then once we do all that, then comes the vinegar. Woo! Look at it! And look, it's red! Whoa! Oh! That's the fun thing about this experiment. You can keep redoing it over and over again. Just add more baking soda, add more vinegar, and keep going. So fun. We're gonna try a bonus activity right now. I just took the pumpkin and filled it up halfway with water, and then added just a few little drops of dish soap. And now I have a straw. I'm gonna have Layla blow into the pumpkin, and it should create a lot of bubbles. Our marker pumpkins are already done, looking yes, super cute. So now we're gonna hang them on the window to make them like little pretty sun catchers and decorate for fall. On Wednesday, of course, we started off doing our daily worksheet. Then we moved on to making, it was kind of like an apple slash pumpkin sun catcher. When I cut it out, I realized it could go either way. And it's, all it was is I cut out the apple slash pumpkin shape in some construction paper. Then I got contact paper and stuck it on there so that it was sticky on one side. Side. And then I gave Layla a bunch of different fall colored tissue paper and had her stick it all over. I said she could do however she wants. She could make a design. She could just stick them on just randomly. Then we hung them up on our window and it looked so pretty when the sun came through and it just was a really fun craft for her. And moving on then with that apple theme, we decided to learn about apples. So I made a quick worksheet on the parts of an apple. Again, that's in my worksheets that you can find in the link in the description below. And we cut open an apple and we looked at all the different parts and I taught her about the seeds, the flesh, the peels, and the stem, and then I gave her the worksheet and she had to label it. Now with the worksheet, you're supposed to cut out the names of each part and then glue them on to the worksheet where it's uh, pointing to that part. But Layla was dead set that she wanted to draw a line and connect him with the line. So I said, you know what, that's fine. We can do that too. So she did it with the line, but you can do it either way if you download this worksheet. And then afterwards, we didn't want to waste that apple that we cut up. So we decided to do some kitchen skills. And we practiced measuring, pouring, and we made this yummy little individual apple crisp. Turned out so good. It was delicious. And I think Layla liked it even more that she was a part of the cooking. And you know, you can extend learning anywhere in your house. And we definitely extended it into the kitchen today. Another perk about homeschooling is if you realize you're gonna be busy on one day and you might not get to everything, you can kind of move things around. 
So I knew the next day we were going to have a pretty busy day. So I decided to also do Thursday's lessons on Wednesday. And Layla was in such a good mood and having so much fun, I knew it wouldn't be a problem. So again, we started off doing a worksheet and this one was three letter words. And then she had to figure out what the first letter was that made that. So there was like pi, so she had to figure out it was a P and then write the P in there. So that really helped with her letter sounds and then also with writing out letters too. So after we did that and we read our book, we moved on to making a fall wreath and that was our craft for the day. So I just got some really inexpensive white paper plates and cut a circle out in the middle. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and got some of these fall leaf bouquets for a dollar and just took all the leaves off of it and let her glue them on. And of course me being the perfectionist was wanting to glue them all like the same way or all going outwards, but I realized, nope, this is her wreath. She can do it however she wants. And so she was gluing them and sticking them on. And at one point she realized, oh, I have too many reds here. I need to put a yellow. She had so much fun doing that. Afterwards, I did go and reinforce some of the leaves with a hot glue gun just to make sure they really stayed stuck on there and wouldn't blow off in the wind. But it turned out beautiful and I loved it. And then after that, for our activity, we made homemade Play-Doh. And this Play-Doh was awesome because it's a no boil Play-Doh. So a lot of times you have to boil water to make Play-Doh. This one, it was a pumpkin Play-Doh and all you needed for it was pumpkin puree and then cornstarch. I did about probably two and a half cups of cornstarch. I just kind of kept adding more cornstarch to when I felt it was too sticky. And then I added in some pumpkin pie spice. I didn't have a lot left, so I also added in some cinnamon and that smelled really good. And you just mix it all together until you get the consistency you want. If you accidentally do too much cornstarch, just add a little bit more water to make it a little more moist. But I didn't have to do that. I felt like I kept having to add more cornstarch. I also made some of these Play-Doh fall themed play mats. And again, you can find these in the link below to my store. And these were so much fun because I have a few different ones. I have one that's just a pumpkin face and she could use Play-Doh to make a face on the pumpkin. There is one with a basket and she can make like all different colored apples with her Play-Doh and act like she's putting apples in her basket. I also had one that was just a bare tree and she could use different colors of Play-Doh to put on leaves and she liked to put a few of the leaves down on the ground to make it look like they had fallen off the tree. And then last but not least, I had another pumpkin face but then I had some like shape suggestions on the top of different shapes she could use use to make a funny face with that pumpkin. And she had a blast doing that. And I just laminated mine so that it was a super easy cleanup. When she was done, I just wiped it them clean so they can be reused later on. It's Friday and we're actually at my parents' house and we're gonna do our homeschooling here today. Again, another perk of homeschooling, you can be flexible about where you do it. And so I brought everything over here and we have not done our worksheet yet. Well, we're gonna do that soon, but I wanted to go ahead and get our first activity set up, which is I had, I was putting it together all morning. I made a tree with just 26 leaves on it, all of them the uppercase letters, and the leaves are in green. And then I got some other leaves that are red, orange, and yellow, so fall leaves, and I put the lowercase letters on those. So I'm going to hide all of the lowercase leaves all over the room, and Layla has to go and match them to the uppercase. So we're gonna turn this green tree leaf into a fall one. A lowercase Q. Can you find the uppercase Q? Look towards the top. I'll give you a hint. Yeah! Can you stick the leaf over there? So look, we're turning the green leaves into fall leaves. Yay! There you go. Fix the tape. Good job. So pretty. Layla just found the marble, so I guess we're moving on to our art activity. So the art activity is something I used to do when I was in preschool. You take a box, I just use an old pizza box. I'm gonna put some fall things in here. I'm doing leaves this time. You could do pumpkins, apples, pie, whatever. And I'm gonna tape these down and then just put squirts of paint everywhere and then throw the marbles in and let her shake the box around to make a cool picture. So we're getting ready to do our worksheet. This is another one of the fall worksheets that I created. Again, you can find a link to all of these down in the description below. This one is going to be practicing her tracing. Just went and checked on this and sure enough, it's already dry. So now I'm gonna cut out the leaves to have some decorations. Aw, these turned out so cute. Now Layla can decorate the house with these. So they're going up on grandma's refrigerator. What, they look like they already fell from the tree? 
That's why they're at the bottom. I love it. You did such a good job. Who knew painting with marbles could be so cool? And there it is. That was our fall weekly lesson plans. We had so much fun doing that. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And don't forget, if you want any of these worksheets or the Play-Doh mats or anything like that, go to the description below and you can find where I posted those. Thank you again for watching. Please make sure to comment if you have any other fun ideas for a fall weekly lesson plan.